I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on application of derivatives. The question here is, a cylindrical can need to hold 500 centimeter cube of apple juice. The height of the can must be between 6 centimeters and 15 centimeters inclusive. How should the can be constructed so that the minimum amount of material will be used in the construction? So that's the question for us. Let us say we are talking about a cylinder whose radius is R and height is H, right? So, so I mean, okay, kind of like this. Okay. So we are saying that the radius is R and height is H. In that case, we know volume is equals to pi R square H. Since we are given volume of 500, we can relate R with H, right? Now, in this particular example, uh, we, need, we are given height in between 6 and 15 centimeters. So, writing height in terms of radius may actually be better. Let's go with radius itself. Now the question here is to minimize the construction cost, that is surface area, right? So let us see what is the formula for surface area. Two surfaces are circular, so we have 2 pi r square, and the lateral surface is 2 pi r h. Now we need the surface area in one variable to really solve the question. Now I would prefer to write height in terms of radius and then we'll work it out. If I write r in terms of uh, height, I get square root term. I want to avoid that. Is that okay? So I can write this as 500 over pi r square is equals to height. So that is how we are going to relate height with the radius and I'm going to substitute this value here. Is it okay? So we could write surface area as 2 pi r square plus this is 2 pi r times height which is 500 over pi r square and this can be simplified as 2 pi r square plus 2 and uh, pi r gets cancelled right so we are left with 2 times 500 is 1000 over r. So that is the surface area, right? So we'll work with this relation. Differentiate it whenever you have maximum minimum. The idea here is to find the first derivative and analyze the first derivative. So we can differentiate with respect to r. So the surface area with respect to r is 4 pi r and here we get minus 1000 over r square. To find the critical number, we'll equate this to 0 to find critical number, correct? So that really means that 4 pi r is equals to 1000 over r square and if we cross multiply, we get r cube equals to uh, let me write down here. What we get here is r cube equals to 1000 divided by 4 pi or r is equals to cube root of 1000 over 4 pi. Perfect. So let's find this answer. So, so we'll do 1000 divided by 4 times pi which is equal to uh, whatever and we'll find cube root of this let's find cube root so we say to the power of within bracket 1 divided by 3 which is equal to 4.3 approximately right so we get radius of 4.3 now one part of the question is we need to check height is the height between these two permitted values or not. The second part is to confirm that this gives you minimum material cost. 
So let's analyze that. So we'll analyze it here. We are trying to check whether 4.3 is the minimum cost or not. So we are checking the derivative of surface area with respect to R. Now, if I take a value which is less than 4.3, let us say 3, and more than 4.3 uh, of radius, let's say 5, in that case, the derivative is right there. So for 4.3, we get a 0, right? But if I have a bigger value here, let's say 5, then this number will be smaller. So we get a positive answer. So in this side, it is positive. And if I substitute smaller value, then this will be bigger. And so we get a negative answer. So we get a negative answer. So that ensures that we do have minimum for r equals to 4.3. Is it okay? So we do have a minimum in the given domain r equals to 4.3. So let's also calculate the height if that is permitted. So height for radius of 4.3 is from here 500 over pi times 4.3 square. So let's calculate how much we get. So we have 500 divided by within brackets pi times 4.3 square bracket close equal to 8.6 8.6 right units are centimeters both units should be centimeters now that is between 6 and 15 centimeters so it perfectly works for us and therefore our answer is that the radius should be 4.3 centimeters and height should be double 8.6 centimeters now that is normally the case. So whenever you have such questions on cylinders, note that diameter, which is twice radius, is equal to height. Now this is a very important conclusion. So if you have a multiple choice question based on cylinders to minimize the cost, that is the best shape, right? So diameter equals to height will give you the best most economical can packing okay i hope that helps feel free to write your suggestions or views if you like and subscribe that'll be great thank you and all the best